Hello, and welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel, and welcome back to episode 3 in the series of Cup Noodle Sodas, and today we're doing Cup Noodle Seafood Noodle Soda, and I have here the Japanese Nissan brand Cup Noodles Seafood Cup for the 50th anniversary. And in this cup noodles, they have squid, they have eggs, and they might have other seafood, um, fish paste or something like that. Uh, the, you know, when you look at the ingredients through a translator, it's always hit or miss. But I know there's definitely squid and definitely eggs in this, and there's cabbage. Um, the broth still contains chicken and pork. Uh, I think they probably use that same chicken pork powder broth for a lot of their stuff. But anyway, I have a cup that I'm going to pour the soda into as well. The soda is supposed to be cream soda based. Um, and I know like a lot of people here in the United States, when they think of cream soda, they think of either like a cream color, like a light tan, um, it's clear. Or sometimes just like no color and clear. Just looks kind of like carbonated water. But I'm pretty sure this is not like that. I think this is more like the Japanese and other Asian countries versions of cream soda, which are usually like a white cloudy color. But it's going to be interesting because it's going to be a cream soda that has um, what I've read is described as a hidden seafood flavor. So first of all we're going to try the seafood cup noodles. Um, just like the other ones it has a good amount of toppings. You see the yellow egg bits. Um, the let's see if I can get a piece of this squid to show you. It's like a really thin slice, let's keep my fingers, a really thin slice of a squid. Uh, there's also uh, green cabbage bits, there's probably green onion in there too. And then there's some red bits. I'm not sure if that's like, what I think this is, it's supposed to, I think what this is, is a imitation crab. It's not real crab, but it's supposed to look like crab, and I think it's made of like a pollock or some kind of white fish. Well, let's go ahead and give this a taste. I'm gonna make sure I get some of that squid though. Hmm. The squid had a texture that I was not suspecting. Expecting. I expected to be more tender. It would actually have like a, hmm, it like a bready chew to it. Let's do noodles. There's a good umami flavor going through there. Yeah, the, the squid is, it's more densely chewy than I was expecting, especially for being as thin as it is. As it is. The broth is pretty good. Let me get a sip of that. Pretty rich. Um, definitely tastes the porky chickeniness that really all the cup noodle broths have. Um, and then I think that's just like layered upon with a, a, a little bit more of a fishy flavor. The cabbage has a nice crunch to it. Mmm, a little sweetness to that cabbage too. The more you chew it. Mm. 
The noodles are pretty much the same as all the other ones. Just cut up a decent chew to it. A bit softer than al dente. What's weird is the original one had all that shrimp in it. I think other fish in there as well. So it almost to me it was that one was kind of more seafoody than the one that's labeled seafood. It's just a different kind. Like that one had shrimp, this one had squid, and then other fishy flavors. Okay, so I think I got a good baseline. Let's try just open the seafood, see if we get a kiss out of this. Not very loud, but I think I heard a little bit. Again, these are sold by February 6th, so still got some good time left. And just as I suspected, it's a white, cloudy, almost milky look to it. Um, I can see in my camera it's coming off a little bit of like a dark gray, almost blue. But when I'm looking at it here, it looks very uh, much white to me. That definitely has a cream smell to it. And not like cream soda cream, like milk cream. That is weird. It's like a yogurty. Milky flavor. I'm going to try to see if I detect seafood or any kind of like fishiness to it. And really, it just tastes like yogurty, milky. Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't taste really seafood to me. This, so far of the three sodas I had, this one tastes the least like its uh, cup noodle counterpart. This is rich and salty. You can definitely have, definitely taste some fish notes to it. It has that base of, of chicken pork, but definitely has some fishy notes to it. The soda. Maybe it has a little bit of fishiness to it. Maybe I'm just thinking that now in my head. I'm trying to apply it. Really, the, the really strong flavor and smell I get from this is a creaminess with a little bit of like yogurty tang to it. Which is, it's not, it doesn't taste bad. I wouldn't say like this is disgusting or nasty or anything. It just doesn't taste like a seafood soda. It tastes like a yogurt soda. Another thing that's weird is like, I don't know how many people really think like creamy milkiness goes with fish. I'm really trying to think of like culinary dishes that involve a fish component and like a creamy, milky dairy component. You really even have cheese on fish, like besides like the McDonald's fish fillet. Hmm. Leave a comment below if you can think of a culinary dish that involves seafood and dairy as two main components. Just like a yogurt cream. 
just weird. Not bad, but weird. Anyway, this is part three. It's the least similar to me, in my opinion, but uh, each one are, are just fine on their own. I still believe my favorite when it comes to the cup noodles I've tried from Japan. The original is still my favorite. Even in the even in the uh, beverages, that ginger ale was really good. It was very gingery, plus it had a lot of spices in it, salt and pepper, other things. And I think it really the ginger really complemented that the flavor of the cup noodle in there. You go back and forth through them, and the ginger almost cleanses your palate. So when you go back, it's like a new taste of it every time, not just like continuing the same taste over and over again. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I got one more coming out for this series, and that will be the tomato uh, cup noodle. It has a tomato soda um, with it. Um, and that sort of normal description is tomato soda. It's not like a cola, it's not like a ginger ale, it's not a cream soda. It's just a tomato soda. So that should be very interesting, I think. And then after that, I'll be moving into uh, a different uh, three-part series. It's kind of the continuation from a longer series I had before. Um, and you'll see that coming up soon as well, interspersed with some individual reviews, as always. But, as I typically say at this point in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.